Oh my gosh, it's May 3rd and there's so much to do. We have to hurry up, let's go. Seriously? May 3rd. What, what's going on? Why did everybody pick May 3rd for special days? Okay, I'm just gonna read them off. National Sand, S-A-N, Architect Day. I don't even know what that means. It has something to do with virtual, uh, digital something or another. I'm not even gonna talk about it today because you know what? They're whining that they need a special day so you don't forget them. So I'm just gonna forget them. National Textiles Day, National Chocolate Custard Day, Okay, I don't like chocolate, but I love custard. Shut up. I know I'm contradicting myself. It's also National Garden Meditation Day. It's also National Lumpy Rug Day. It's also National P Paranormal Day, which we're not going to be discussing today, so cross that one off. It's also National Raspberry Popover Day, National Specially Abled Pets Day, and National Two Different Colored Shoes Day. Let's get started with National Textiles Day. Textiles, what are textiles? Well, textiles are fabrics that we use for rugs, bedding, really fabric, textiles. They're woven fibers of either natural or synthetic materials. You, you saw me cheating there, didn't you? You're looking down at my paper. Uh-huh. Okay, so I'm, I'm not even gonna bake it. The resulting fabric is used to make coverings for a variety of uses from clothing and bedding to furniture covers, as well as rugs, drapery, and canvas for art and shelter. There you have it, textiles. Kevin has this thing about fabrics. He loves to touch things, and if he sees something that looks uh, soft and silky, he immediately wants to touch it. I've had to teach him, you know, you don't just go up to people and start touching their clothes, because I remember his friend Haley kind of freaked out on him one day because he started rubbing her arm. <laughs> He's like, like doing this, and she's like, what are you doing? He's like, I just wanted to feel, it was a velvet little sweat jacket that she had on. Well, he also falls asleep by doing this with his blanket. He likes to rub it together. That's how he falls asleep. That's what gives him comfort. He loves the feel of fabric. Many people are like that. So admire your textile today. Now, another funny day today is National Lumpy Rug Day. Okay, so many people believe that this day is associated with spring cleaning. This idea also comes from this notion, have you ever heard anybody say, just sweep it under the rug? Now this is a phrase commonly used when we don't want to talk about something. It could be that big elephant in the room that no one wants to talk about. So they sweep it under the rug. That's what that means. It means that, you know, if you don't want somebody to see the dirt or dust in your house, typically back in the olden days, they would just sweep it under the rug. So nobody would see the dust and dirt, they would just sweep it under the rug and then your rug would get lumpy. And I guess that's why you're supposed to do spring cleaning and clean that lumpy rug. So let's not sweep this day under the rug. Let's move on to the next national observation. Chocolate custard day. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I know you're going, check your nuts. You don't like chocolate, and then some days you do. Well, it all depends on what it is. Chocolate parfait, I can do chocolate parfait as long as it mixed with something good, okay? But if you're talking custard, this is a totally different thing for me. Chocolate custard. I don't even know if I would do a chocolate custard because I love custard so much that you would ruin it with chocolate. Custard is a delicacy, as you know, because Matt Smith, who was Doctor Who, he liked custard and fish fingers. I doubt that he would take chocolate custard and fish fingers because that would just be disgusting. Custard and fish fingers is probably disgusting too. I have not tried it yet and I really don't plan on it. However, it's like that whole french fry and the chocolate ice cream thing. I don't get that either. But today's chocolate custard day. So if you have an opportunity to make custard, make a chocolate. Now custard can be a hard custard or it could be a creamy, almost drinkable custard. Whichever one you wanna do. Okay.
let's move on, because we have a long day ahead of us. Garden meditation day. I am in my garden. I am going to meditate. I know everybody thinks like meditation is. I'm in my garden. I'm meditating. I can't really focus because there's a lot of cars going by. I live on a major highway, people. I mean, really? Who can meditate with the traffic going by? I actually had to move my camera because all you could see was traffic going by constantly. It just never stops. You can hear it in the background. Uh, roundabout, right there. Right over there is a roundabout. Whee! Okay. And my garden's right here, so I can hear all the traffic. I can't meditate. Meditation is like quiet. hear all those birds see now that would be nice but it's very rare that I get a moment like that where there's no traffic going by and meditation isn't what people think it doesn't have to be some uh, Indian or uh, other religious type of thing meditate simply means that you're focused on something you can meditate on God so meditating on God would mean that you would spend your time sitting here focusing on the Lord. So you can meditate. It's, there's nothing wrong with meditating. Don't let anybody tell you that meditating is wrong. It's not. Meditating is a good thing. It's a process to slow your brain down, to slow your body down, and to just relax. And most of the time when you're meditating, you're just breathing in through your nose and out through your mouth. And that starts to slow your system down. It starts to help you to relax. And if you can find a quiet place like your garden, that's a perfect place to do it. In fact, a lot of people do yoga outside. They do a lot of meditation outside because they love nature. I love nature. That's why I'm sitting out here today listening to all the birds. Hey, so now you know what meditation is and now you know why you would go in the garden because usually the garden is a quiet place, but not in my world. National Raspberry Popover Day. Remember when we talked about popovers, the blueberry popovers? Raspberry. That's it. I'm done. Just go back to the video with the blueberry popovers and insert raspberry where I say blueberry. Specially Abled Pets Day. I don't know if you've ever seen the Drew Carey show. Um, he had a pet that was disabled because his back legs were paralyzed. He had little wheels that went with him. There are many animals out there that are disabled. That does not mean that their life is over. A lot of people think that if a dog can't use its back back leg that that dog's life is over and has no use in this world anymore just because they have a special need doesn't mean that their life isn't worthwhile and that their life isn't worth living because they are pets are amazing creatures and they help so many people get through such a tough tough life just because a pet has special needs doesn't mean that it can't survive. We just have to be creative, like Drew Carey did it with his dog by having the wheels on the back of his legs. Two different colored shoes day. I'm wearing the same colored shoes. I'm not gonna show you. You get the idea, two different colored shoes. Today is a day that you can be wacky and weird and fun. You can wear a red and blue shoe. You can wear a slipper and a sneaker. You can wear a boot and a flip-flop. So that's it, because I'm not doing paranormal day. Nope, not happening. Now let's move on to On This Day in History. <laughs> I can't help but laugh every time I do that. It's just funny. Okay, so today in history, let's get on with it. On this day in history, May 3rd. On this day in 1374, Mesopotamian astronomers view a solar eclipse and record on the day of the new moon in the month of Hayar, the sun was put to shame and went down in the daytime 
with Mars in attendance. In 1494, Italian-born Spanish explorer Christopher Columbus spots the island of Jamaica. Spanish colonists settled the island 15 years later. 1558, Ferdinand I is officially appointed Holy Roman Emperor after his brother Charles abdicated in 1556. 1715, Edmund Haley observes a total eclipse phenomenon, Bailey's Beats. In 1802, Washington, D.C. becomes the United States capital city and is incorporated. In 1814, Spanish painter Francisco Goya, simply known and recognized today as Goya, depicted this day in 1808 in a painting called The Third of May. This was an invasion on Portugal by French Emperor Napoleon. In 1830, the first steam passenger train service begins. In 1921, West Virginia imposes the first U.S. sales tax. One of the most amazing stories ever told depicting the Civil War before, during, and after is a novel written by Margaret Mitchell called Gone with the Wind. On this day in 1937, she is rightfully honored with the Pulitzer Prize for the book. It has long gone on to be one of the best-selling novels of all time and became a dazzling box office success as a movie. To this day, the movie is still hailed as a brilliant Civil War story with delightful and daring characters. In 1952, an airplane lands for the first time ever at the North Pole. Probably the most recognizable and most famous skyscraper in all of history, the Sears Tower was topped off on this day in 1973. It was designed by Bruce Graham and engineered by the father of tubular design, Fosler Rahman Khan. It was accomplished by Chicago's famous architectural firm, Skidmore, Owings & Merrill. She is known as one of the most brilliant and politically savvy women in history. Margaret Thatcher was a conservative party leader in Britain who became the first female prime minister. Something treacherous happened on this day in history. In 1978, the first unsolicited bulk commercial email referred to as spam mail was sent. Thus began the overloading of junk mail, losing all important emails in the mix. You know what I'm talking about. Microsoft Excel debuts in 1985. Today, Excel is simply part of a packaged product of Microsoft Office software, allowing users to create spreadsheets, calendars, charts, and graphs for various purposes. The application was very innovative for its time, when businesses were desperate to develop new ways of keeping track of information and data since the computer was becoming such a major part of the business world. Technology would soon replace filing cabinets, paperwork, and simple calculators. There you have it, another day in history. Okay, so chocolate custard day, go meditate in your garden. Meditate, learn how to meditate, learn how to slow yourself down, learn how to relax and rest and be at peace, even if that means meditating on God. Because God loves you and he wants you to focus on him, he wants a relationship with you, and he would be so happy to sit with you and just love all over you because that's what God does. So God bless you, celebrate today, celebrate everything today has to offer, and celebrate you because you're special and God loves you. Have a great day.